Hey guys, I'm doing a review of the Hot Wheels tumbler. I've been meaning to do a review of the the Takara Batman figure that I have. I just haven't found the time to to do a full review of him. I mean, that would take a while to do a review of him. So I'm just gonna save it till I get back from vacation, which I'll be going on vacation pretty soon. So um, don't expect me to have anything next week. I'll, I'll be gone most of next week. Um, but this review uh, was another spontaneous review, um, kind of like the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta figure. As you can see, Tumblr, you know, on the back, excuse me, you have the Tumblr, you have the animated Batmobile, the comic Batmobile, which is, which Tim Burton's Batmobile is loosely based on this one, I believe. And then you have the old TV series Batmobile. Uh, and then the bike. I actually have the bike. It was given to me as a gift. I'm going to go back and exchange this one for that one because this, it may not look cool on the picture, but in person, this mofo right here is awesome. I'm telling you. Um, I almost got it. I was on the brink of getting it. I actually should have gotten it because there's only one. There may not be another one, which I will be pissed if they don't have it. Um, but on the back, it has the big picture of uh, the tumbler. Then it has the little info, you know. And then the front, of course. I don't like the front of the packaging because that symbol or logo, whatever, is very small uh, compared to the space that they have. Um, they could have made the, the thing a little bigger or, you know, um, just made it look better, I guess. And this, the logo actually looks kind of bland. Um, but it's not too bad. It's not horrible. It's just not the best I've seen. But there's the tumbler. You might be able to tell. I don't know. It's, 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 it's in the package. so. But this is not that accurate as far as paint goes. And the front. Uh, it's not that accurate to the movie tumbler. I'm going to open them here pretty soon, so here we go. Okay, so the packaging, I'm probably going to give an, let's see, I'd say the packaging is probably about an 8. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cardboard dust particles from the insert right here. Um, for a collector, I would say the packaging is probably about an 8. It's, it's Maybe 7.5 if some of these things bother you enough, but, you know, I'm just going to give it an 8. Because it's, it's packaging, I mean, as long as it comes in good condition, it's it's a, it's okay. So I'm, I'm going to give it about an 8. Um, as for the, f the, the vehicle, car itself, whatever, you know, it looks, it looks pretty cool. Um, it has some uh, accuracy issues uh, to the actual Batmobile they use in the movie, but... I'll go over those in a second. Uh, for a size comparison, this is an actual Hot Wheels type of car. It's the same size as a Hot Wheels Hot Wheels car. It is the, I believe it's the cartoon Batmobile from the 60s. I don't think it's the one from the show. I think it's the one from the, the cartoon of it. Um, so that's why it doesn't look all that great. I mean, it does look pretty cool. But, you know, here's the size comparison. And so yeah, you can you can see it's about the size of Hot Wheels, uh, but this scale really is a little bit bigger than Hot Wheels. But the tumbler actually is in scale with Hot Wheels cars, so that's a good thing. So yeah, that's the size comparison. Um, I'm gonna go over the accuracy issues after I point out a couple things. One, the tires are a rubber, but they're such a a hard type of rubber that they're almost not rubber. If if you catch my drift, I mean, they really don't they really don't catch friction that much. I mean, a softer rubber would would have definitely been preferred. Um, they are not. Uh, by the way, there's the Hot Wheels logo on the bottom and all the legal stuff, I guess. But like I was saying. They aren't soft rubber, so the friction is, they don't really catch friction on the table. I mean, it's just, 
I mean, you can slide the thing. So it's a hard, hard type of rubber, which is almost plastic in my opinion. Um, I really don't like that. That's that's a bother in my opinion. Um, the other thing is the wheels are too big. If there was a driver in there, they would disrupt the view of the driver. They need to be just a tad smaller, not too much, but just a little bit smaller. I mean, they're a little too big. Um, and the biggest problem with accuracy as far as paint goes is the wheels. Um, they're completely gold. Uh, it's They're not even supposed to be gold. It's just supposed to be so silver rimmed with the middle section and the, the, the tabs going out. It's supposed to be black. Uh, and the bolts are supposed to be silver. And another thing about the paint is the gold is on the the wheels. All of that is actually copper. I mean, it's not really gold. So I'm going to have to repaint this thing just to make it more accurate. Um, you know, and I don't think the middle, the inside of the tires is supposed to be uh, supposed to be the gold, the gold look. I think it's all supposed to be black, except for the bolts being silver. Um, I've seen quite a few pictures of the actual tumbler they, tumbler they use in the movie, and I've never seen pictures of it where the insides were gold. Um, so, I'm going to have to fix some of the paint problems. Other than that, though, it's a great little great little Batmobile. The other thing that bothers me is the these things stick out a lot, and that's because they don't want this to, the wheels to snap off, so it's understandable, but it's just at the same time, it still looks kind of weird if you're looking at it from the top, uh, because it's supposed to narrow out a little bit more, you know. But, oh well, no big deal. As for the actual vehicle itself, besides all the paint issues and whatnot, it's pretty cool. The other thing I'll, I'll note is the fins for the front. The fins in the back are a separate piece, but the fins in the front are molded in. Sadly, they molded it in. I don't know why. So it doesn't really look like fins. It looks like part of the damn vehicle. Um, whatever. So, even despite all the problems, I would still say get this guy. I recommend him. To anyone who's a big fan of the Tumblr, to anyone who just likes collecting Batmobile uh, vehicles, or to any Dark Knight or Batman Begins fans that just wants a damn Tumblr. Um, if you don't want the gimmicky Mattel versions, uh, or you can't find or afford the like $40, $50, 118 scale Hot Wheels Tumblr, I would say get this one. So yeah, that's my review. And I'd probably give him an 8. Uh, if the accuracy and some of the other issues I pointed out, uh, if those things bother you, I'd say about 7.5. Um, if none of this stuff really bothers you, I'd say it's probably about an 8.5, maybe a 9. So yeah, that's my review. And that's, that's a wrap.